today I'm going to be taking you through a 10 minute core workout. So a really good option if you're pushed for time or if you're wanting something to do at home that's nice and quick and simple. So there are four exercises we're going to be doing today and I'm going to first talk you through all of them and then we'll get started. So for our first exercise we're going to come down to the mat and we're going to have the elbows on the floor. So make sure that the elbow sits underneath the shoulder. Fists are going to drive down into the floor and then we're going to take the legs back into a plank hold. So from this position, really making sure that I'm squeezing my inner thighs together, drawing my pelvis under me, tucking the chin and holding here. So that is our first exercise. For our next one, we're going to flip onto our back. So lying on our backs, we're going to bring the knees into a 90 degree angle, extending the arms overhead. And then from here, we're now going to extend opposite arm and leg away, drawing the belly button down into the floor and pressing that lower back down so that we don't get a big gap between the floor and our back. So again, we extend opposite arm and leg away, the heel of the foot drives away, and then we draw back in. For our next exercise, we're going to flip up onto our front. We're now going to come into a full plank position. Hands are going to sit directly under the shoulder again. Taking the legs back into our full plank position, we're now going to go for some shoulder taps. So lifting the hand off and tapping the opposite shoulder and really making sure in this position and as we move through the move movement, we're not allowing the pelvis to shift from side to side. So we really want to make sure that both hip bones stay facing down towards the floor and all that's moving is the hand lifting up to tap the opposite shoulder. For our last exercise, we're going to come back onto our bums. And there are two options here. You can either have the feet on the floor or we can take the feet off the floor for a slightly more advanced option. We're then going to take the hands outstretched in front of us. So we start in this nice V-sit position and then we're going to rotate from side to side using the arms to guide the movement and drawing a big semicircle around the body with the arms. So just moving from side to side, like so. So those are our four exercises. We're going to work for 20 seconds in each of those exercises, taking a 10 second rest, and then we're going to do all of that four times round. So if you're ready, let's get started. Coming onto our front, ready to start in our plank hold. We're going in three, two, and one. Off we go. So taking those legs back, squeezing the inner thighs together, drawing the shoulder blades down, and we hold here. Really making sure we're creating tension in this position. Squeezing and holding. Five seconds to go. Three, two, and one. Lowering those knees. Onto our backs we come for our dead bugs. So bending those knees at 90 degree angle. Arms up stretch. Three, two, and one. Off we go. So here, really making sure that we're pressing that lower back down into the floor as we extend opposite arm and leg away. And this is a slow and controlled movement, so not rushing it at all. Good. Three, two, and one. Nice work. Coming onto our front for our shoulder taps. Again, hands sit on the shoulders. Feet go back in three, two, and one. Off we go. So just tapping either shoulder, really feeling the core have to stabilize here as we move onto one hand and then shift the weight from side to side. Good. Keeping those hips nice and stable. Final five seconds here. And three, two, and one. Lowering down, coming onto our bums, bringing those feet off the floor if you want to, or keeping them on, them on the floor. Taking the arms out, and we're going in three, two, and one. Off we go. So rotating from side to side, reaching those arms, across and really feeling the rotation through the core there. Good, nice work. Keeping the body nice and stable. Three, three, two, and one. So we are one round down, we're moving into round two. So back into our plank hold, elbows coming down to the floor, fist driving into the mat. Three, two, and one. Round two, here we go. Squeezing those inner thighs together. Drawing the shoulder blades down. Keep the chin tucked. Round two of four. And we hold. Good. Final five seconds coming up. Stay with it. Finishing in three, two, and one. Nice. Lower those knees onto our backs for our dead bugs. 
bending the knees at that 90 degree angle. Arms outstretched. Three, two, and one. Here we go. So I'm extending away from the body, drawing back in. Again, drawing that belly button down towards the mat. Good. Creating that tension in the end position, drawing back into neutral. Three, two, and one. Nice work, everyone. Flipping onto our front, we come into our shoulder taps, hands under shoulders, taking those legs back in three, two, and one. Off we go. So tapping either shoulder, moving through this movement, keeping the hips nice and stable. Good. Just shifting the weight from hand to hand. Keep the chin tucked. Good. Five seconds to go. Three, two, and one. Nice work. Coming onto our bums, ready for our Russian twists. So taking those feet off the floor if you want, extending the arms overhead. Three, two, and one. Here we go. Coming up to that halfway point now. Nice. Just rotating side to side, using the breath. Finding that tension. Good. Three, two, and one. Two rounds down. We are halfway now. Flipping onto our front, ready to go for our plank hold again in five. And three, two, and one. Stay with it. Take those legs back, squeeze the inner thighs together, drawing that belly button underneath you a little bit. Scooping the hips under, shoulder blades drawing down. And we hold, good. Coming up to that final five now. And three, two, and one. Good job, lower those knees. Onto our backs we go. Taking those knees into that 90 degree angle. Whew. And we're going three, two, and one. Extend the opposite arm and leg away. Good, drawing back. Really nice work, guys. Holding at end range, and then drawing back in towards the body. Nice. Breathing through. Three, two, and one. Good, flipping onto our front again. Shoulder taps, hands sitting under those shoulders. Taking the legs back in three, in two, and one. Off we go. Tapping either shoulder. Really stabilizing through the hips and through the core. Good. Keep the chin tucked. Nice. And make sure those hands are under those shoulders the whole time. Final five seconds here, everyone. Three, two, and one. Lower those knees onto our bums, ready for our last exercise of round three. Taking those legs up off the floor if you want to. Arms up, stretch. Three, two, and one. Here we go. Rotating side to side. Nice work. Really feeling that deep core having to work now as we reach side to side. Good. Breathe through. Three, two, and one. So we are three rounds down into our last round. Just four exercises left to go. Let's start with that plank. Elbows down, going in three, two, and one. Off we go. Last time we're doing this. So squeeze the pelvis under. Draw the shoulder blades down, create as much tension as possible for this last and final round. Good. Holding here. Three, two, and one. Nice work, everyone. Flipping onto your backs. Almost there. Three exercises to go down. Knees bent, arms outstretched. Going in three, two, and one. Off we go. Extending that arm and leg away, drawing it back in towards the body. Good. Really making sure we control this one, not allowing that leg just to slam down. Good. Breathing through. Three, two, and one. Nice work. Two down, two to go. Flipping onto our front, hands underneath the shoulders, taking those legs back in three, two, and one, off we go. So tapping either shoulder. Good. Really focusing on the control here. 10 seconds down, 10 to go. Stay with it. Nice work, everyone. Finishing in three, two, and one. Lower those knees down. Last exercise, we are so almost there. 
So bending those knees, coming to that V sit position, and we're going in three, two, and one. Last exercise, let's go. Give it everything, breathing through, feeling that nice rotation through the core. Good. Almost there. Three, two, and one. Good job, everyone. So that is your 10 minute core workout now done. I really hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for joining. And you can catch me on Instagram at Alice Living for more home workouts. If you like that video, there are loads more talks, classes, and exclusive videos from the Happy Place Virtual Festival. So don't forget to subscribe on YouTube. Do follow us on Instagram for constant updates and enjoy.